Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here with a video here today bringing us a brand new video how to make the quickest and easiest stream package and break it down for you guys to make it as simple, easy as possible, right? Where I'm basically just telling you guys it's all about the actual placement of where you want to put things. In this case here, this style that I chose to do here to actually make it sort of customizable for most people who are going to end up watching. Um, font, position of text, and then a little bit of texture in some spots of, or of some kind of object or something like that. And I hopefully broke it down for you guys. If you're new to Photoshop, it makes it super easy. I promise you, if you have even one hour in Photoshop, this should be super, super easy for you to watch. Um, but yeah, with that being said, hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Do not forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, if you are subscribed, just comment and say like, hi, I love you. And uh, with that being said, enjoy the video. All right, guys, let's get this thing going right here, right now. So of course, I wanna quickly just go over Quick little formula of what I'm basically looking at here, what you're looking at here, and why you might like the design that you see here, right? So first things first, there is basically three different elements here that it's kind of like the key elements that are making this design, make it look super original, cool, and just like dope, right? So in my opinion, right? You know, you know, but right? This one right here, you have this sort of like gray texture at this point. This typography is basically the same exact text here, made bigger, made more toward a more subtle color, in this case a gray on this black to make it just kind of like really flow really well, and also not really kind of reading as text anymore, but more as like a texture, right? And that's the cool thing about this font in particular, right? Then you have something like this right here, where you have this compliment right here, you have the compliment also right here, and those three assets, those three different types of, or basically same typography, right? But it's all carrying that same kind of like almost hype beast esque like just cool sort of like brush theme right all tied in together and it's basically being all carried by the font itself and that's the cool part of course the background can change as well it can make it more of a white more inviting right this basic right here is clean does the job and it's really really well read so to way to do this right i'm gonna go to file new we're gonna go to a 1920 by 1080 300 resolution press create so the first thing i'm gonna do is make this background black for myself Okay, now with this black background here, I'm gonna go ahead and just type in the word intermission once again, because that's what I like to start off with at all times, because for me, the intermission screen, what is one of the most important screens? Because it really allows me to kind of figure out, it has everything in there, right? It has a webcam in there, it has like all the social stuff in there, so anything you really need to do, right, should just basically come out of the intermission screen, so that's why I like to use it first and make it first. So, this font that I am using is called Dead Stock. I'll leave this font in the description down below, uh, below for you guys, along with the other font that we're using, which is basically Akira. Right, all those fonts I'll put in a nice little Google Drive for you guys. Right, so I just free transformed it by pressing Control T on my keyboard, rotated it while holding Shift to make it like, sort of like how do you say rotate on a 90 degree angle, uh, 90 degree angle, and make it basically 15 intervals every single time I move it. Right, as you guys can see, so I can make it sure it's always perfectly horizontal or vertical for me when I need it to be. Hold Alt, take this anchor here, and just move, of course just make my mouse move my mouse to the left or right, whatever way you want to do it, and uh, make it bigger. Right, so I have this here now. Now what I want to do is I'm going to press Control, Alt, and N, basically make a new layer. Not You don't have to do that if you don't want to do that crazy. Just basically make a new layer, and you can fill this layer in with any color whatsoever. I'm going to fill it in with quick white, and the way I did that was pressing Control and Backspace. If I press Alt, Backspace, it'll quick fill the color that I have in the foreground. This is the foreground. This is the background, right? Control, Backspace is white. Alt, Backspace is blue. So that whatever color is there, it doesn't really matter, but just for the case, you want to do that, right? So when you have that, you can just basically right-click, convert to smart object, and what you want to do is press Control T on your keyboard, make this a little bit more smaller, and this box right here is going to re represent your camera. But for this box for me, I'm going to make this gray by just taking the saturation, lowering it down to negative 100, makes it clear black and white, right? And I did that by pressing Control U on my keyboard, which brings up this hue and saturation table. So I can then take this and say, <clears throat> right about here is a pretty good spot for me, and I'll move this a little bit more over as well. But this text is going to sit above the actual text here. And I just have a picture of Courage for whatever reason. I've been working a lot with Courage, so I just have this the closest uh, for an example here. But, right, now I can do this and be like, hey, I'm going to put the inner word intermission once again up here. Uh, okay, boom, intermission's right there. But for this one, I'm going to use a more of a sans serif font. Sans serif basically meaning a cleaner font. So in this case, Akira is a pretty clean font, has no real sort of like... Uh, how do you say distortion to the actual text? It's more of that clean look. That's what I mean by that. Because this font right here that I'm about to use as well is also still clean. So this one, I'm gonna of course use dead stock once again, right? But I'm also gonna make sure this intermission word is white, and now we have a nice little contrast going with the blue and the white. Now I'm gonna take this word intermission once again, put it behind this text. Oops, not take it, but hold Alt on your keyboard for make a copy. Click on this layer, drag it below the uh, courage layer or your whatever. Uh, camera webcam layer your webcam layer. There you go and uh, control T right alt 
left, just make it a little bit more bigger. Like right about here, maybe is a nice spot for it. So I can then take this, make this white. I can make this any color I really want to. You can even leave it to be white and have that contrast also pull through and make it more of an aggressive kind of texture, not so much of a subtle texture, which I'm gonna do is by pick, pick, eh, basically taking this and moving it to about 12%. Just like so, lowering the opacity, making it more subtle, and a lot just kind of sit in the background the way it wants to be, right? And then I can take this over here, take the same exact copy, right? So I'm gonna say, let's say subscribers, recent subscriber, not subscribers. Now with this, I'm gonna make a new layer once again, right? On this new layer, I'm gonna take this rectangle marquee tool, just simply click and make a pretty big enough space to kind of allow it to hold a name that's about, you know, 14 or so characters. Right, then I'm just gonna quick fill this in again with any color that's alt backspace like we did before for the background. Then I can either right click, deselect, or control D to deselect. Then I'll take my fill, lower it down to 0%, double click on it, and then I'll go into the stroke just like so on the layer style. Right now it's black, but just make this white. Right, you'll be able to see a nice little one, how do you say, size, position on the inside, press OK. And now we got a nice little box here that you basically will put your name um, of of course the recent subscriber list when you do like OBS something like that inside this box Then I'm gonna take this highlight everything right move it over make the same exact copy So this will not say recent subscriber. Let's just make it say recent donate tour. There you go move this box right around here And I'll just leave it with these two boxes here But you can do as many boxes as you guys need right if you need like a bit thing, you know, whatever you need That's when you just keep on extending it. But for me, I'm gonna say these two boxes are pretty good I'll group them together if I like to, right? Then I'll just take this and I'll just make it a little more smaller because I'm a big fan of like the sort of like sleek look. Smaller is a little more sleek sometimes. That doesn't really equate to everything in the world. But for me, I just like things to be a little bit more smaller to kind of make it sure it kind of fits, has a lot more breathing room and uh, overall it's pretty good in my opinion, right? If I want to move it down here, I can move it down here as well. But I think right here is a pretty solid choice, right? And then the last thing I'm going to do to kind of like, oh, how you say, like make it a little more personalized is just make a nice simple another rectangle marquee tool on a new layer, take the corner here, give it a nice sort of like highlight of color. I'm gonna go all the way to the end of where this basically would stop. Not exactly, I don't know how to be exactly, but if I want it to be exactly, I'll just move it down, move it up, but it doesn't really matter too much, but just the sense is that this should be lined up with here. This will be here, this will be here, and all that kind of lines up. And it kind of just feels like this almost has its own space, has a little bit sort of, how do you say, uh, brings your eye towards that direction once you kind of look around the actual canvas. Right, then you look down and kind of give you that nice idea of that there's a stuff down here. That way it's not really ignored, but it's acknowledged when you want it to be acknowledged because that color block there is kind of bringing attention toward it, right? So then you can do other things like putting sponsors here, putting like your Twitter, anything like that here. But this is where I want to kind of flex the idea of why this is such a cool idea and why is this so easy is because if you want to make it more yours, then of course, like I just said before, you take these right here, right? And you just go through and be like, yo, I want to use this kind of font right here where this is more of like a cooler, how do you say longer font, right? Bring this up here, right? Then you can of course move up this stuff up here as well, right? And of course I would change the, uh, how do you say this? Where's the other one right here? Nope, the other word is right here, right? Move this up there and you can kind of see that it has an incredibly different take a different style and a different idea behind it besides this text being the one the main one that I use but if you use this kind of idea you can do literally anything you want right like is that simple and even if you like to say you're more of like a, a woman streamer right you don't like the you like the color pink I know that's not every freaking woman's color favorite color but I'm gonna go ahead and say let's just go with like pink right here Right, I'm also going to show you how easy it is to customize it even further than just this. Let's take pink here. Let's take this over here. Right? Boom. Boom. Right? These will also change as well. Right? And now I think even the text might be just not what they want, right? Let's just also change this as well to something else. Boom. I'll choose this one, which a lowercase looks so, so good on this font. This one's called uh, D A L G O N A. Dal gonna sure anyway right so this is the file i'm gonna choose for this and you can see how really nice and pretty kind of has a really cool aesthetic to it um super clean font right also the background here also needs to change that one as well let's do it again right here make sure it's lowercase and boom that looks pretty good right let's just say you don't want just that right i'm gonna go to google so i'm gonna go over here and just go ahead and just open up a new tab for us i'll take this and i'm gonna type in in google images right i'm gonna go ahead and just do uh flowers right no, I know, right? I'm just trying to give it the basic idea out there. But I'm not gonna type in flowers, I'll type in flower PNG, right? So I'll do flower PNG, I'll look for like a really cool flower stock that looks pretty solid and it'll, it'll definitely work. Um, 
something like this is kind of nice we'll save this right then i actually take this stock now right drag it inside now is this a pretty okay fine i think it works pretty good let's lower this down a little bit more for some reason i kind of like this thing okay now i'm gonna say yo we're gonna put some up here right now this could be any asset right this can be if you don't want flowers it can be literally anything you could think of you can find a nice png of it which basically means a nice transparent um background right of it not like the word png itself but you want to find something that's more transparent right i can move one over here right as so i'll take this i'll take the gradient now this can be the same exact formula formula that you use for yourselves uh literally anything right so i'm gonna take this i'll make this black right here for now then i'll make this over here this red right here and this tone will basically be multiplied on every single one of these so i'll just take it hold alt drag it clip mask it drag it clip mask it right then you kind of have these flowers around and now it's even more personalized toward you with an object that of course you can kind of say that it almost like symbolizes you in a kind of a way all done here and even i wonder if like white would look pretty good with this background here i mean you just change this now to like some of these other colors it doesn't have to actually be black either i'm using just white and black as a nice simple kind of like easy contrast right if you're not you're, if you're not a big fan of contrast easy contrast right but you can kind of see i can use like a nicer darker almost like a burgundy color take these make the same burgundy color right here right and just like that you have an entirely different design and an entirely different look from the exact same formula and even the background that's supposed to be here as well hold on this is supposed to be black right a little bit nice little kind of like shadowing that back there as well a little bit texture you can see how easy it really is um, when you kind of like break it down to just kind of allowing your text to be exactly what kind of carries it, right? Finding that nice simple little object, right? I just found that flower stock on Google, put it on, put a gradient on, that way it kind of just makes this, the contrast a lot easier again. And uh, that's about it. Now, if you wanted to save this, you kind of see how I made sure I have this text above the actual um, camera. So what I have here is this text, right? I'll make this red, a red layer for you guys. So that basically layer, we'll turn that off. Okay, this layer here, all we really care about is the fact that we want to make sure we can take this and cut this out, right? So this is going to be in front of everything, right? Um, I'm going to take this, move that up. So this is the camera stuff. Basically, you really wouldn't have a camera thing in here if you didn't want one, right? But the camera, how do you say, box you would have. So you want to take this camera box, make sure it's the first on the top layer, right? Then you have your whatever word is above your camera layer, above that layer. And then what happens here is I'm going to just take everything here. So I'm going to click on this layer right here click on this layer right here I can group it together if I would like to but I have to make sure I unlock that layer also won't be able to group right group it together so I'm gonna click on this one hold shift click on the last one if I hold shift while clicking on the uh, last one it'll click everything in between press control G to make a group then I'll press control J to make a copy of that group I'll then hide this layer below it right and I press control E on that group layer to merge everything together so what you have here is basically all the actual assets in one single layer then I'll hold control, click on this layer one, which is our uh, overlay uh, overlay layer. There we go, right? I'll hide this now, right? I control clicked on it. That way it makes this nice little marquee tool selection of us, right? Then I'll take this layer here, which is the layer we just merged everything together with, press the lead on our keyboard, boom. Then I'll take this layer that we had above the actual camera layer, which is the text layer, turn that back on. And now when I save it, you would put it in OBS and now it's transparent. So whatever picture you wanna actually have, you can have it right below it and it'll be transparent. It's super, super simple. Low key, this looks really good also, by the way. I mean, if you want to take this idea, I mean, go for it at this point. But that's it. That's the tutorial here today. And I hope it was as clear-minded, helped you guys soothe the idea of you don't have the clean graphics, you don't have custom graphics or the money to do it. Hopefully, you can find yourself, right, do some really cool graphics here and love it and enjoy it and be proud of it because you made it yourself. So with that being said, I'm done here today. I want to leave you guys right now. Seso HQ out. You now we got to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking better, guys. Later. Much love, peace, and go make yourself some really nice revamps.